Lawmakers laid out their priorities today at the state capitol. The Future Caucus, as they're called, wants to focus on issues facing Georgia's youngest citizens. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon live at the capitol tonight. And Doug, this is interesting because about 21% of the state legislature includes people who are millennials or Gen Z. Right, all under the age of 45. And so we heard from the caucus's co-chairs today, one Republican and one Democrat. Bipartisanship is a big thing for them. And the future caucus said they've already been very busy in this session. That is, excuse the pun, still quite young. These people are the future of our state and of our country. Their voices matter and the policies that they care about matter. A group for the young people by the young people. Wednesday, Georgia's Future Caucus, made up of Georgia legislators under the age of 45, spelled out their plans for the 2024 session after their first meeting this week. The caucus's Democratic co-chair, Jasmine Clark. We talked about lots of things at our meeting. We talked about child care. We talked about workforce development. We talked about uh, workforce housing. We talked about a lot of different things, criminal justice reform. 33 state legislatures have a future caucus. Nationwide, only about 25% of state legislators are millennial or Gen Z. In Georgia, that number is close to 21%. Republican co-chair Stephen Saines. Younger Georgians need a inspiring place to work, need workforce solutions, need safe communities and safe schools that they can take their young children to. Another set of bills the caucus supports would regulate artificial intelligence in Georgia elections and its use in state governmental agencies. The caucus has already thrown its support behind two such bills this session. Members of the caucus also want to prove that transcending party lines is possible and a brighter future in Georgia is one where Democrats and Republicans work together for the good of everyone. Now, I am not one of those people that is going to pretend like it is not an election year and that there will not be things that uh, we will not agree on. But I do think there are definitely places where lawmakers can get together, sit in a room and talk about and work on policy that we can all get behind. Yeah, Georgia has had a future caucus here at the state capitol since 2017. And as for the party makeup, you guessed it, it is just about 50-50. From the state capitol, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.